Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lally and you're watching London Key Lally and today is a very special day because I am going to be reviewing a subscription-based service where they deliver a tiffin box to your house with some amazing Indian-inspired food and it's all plant-based. The name of the subscription service is... Oh my god, it's so heavy. I can't even lift it up. It's called... Double Drop! <laughs> and I am here with the lovely Vatsala, and we're going to review this fantastic service. So we've, we've got it, and I guess now all we have to do is just have a look at what's inside, how they've packaged it, and what we have to do is basically heat it up. So let's have a look what's inside the bag. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. So I think we have the deli menu for our dubber. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Okay. It looks quite traditional looking so far, the way it's been. I like the way it's been wrapped in the cloth. Yeah, this is very traditional. This is cute. We have some sides. So we have tamarind chutney. Ooh, I do love tamarind chutney. Yeah. Imliki chutney, if you will. Ginger jam. I've never actually had that before. But, uh, some pickled onion and because we're in the UK, mango chutney. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a theory and I don't know if it's correct or not that when the British came over to India, they saw all these mangoes and they were like, okay, what should we do with these mangoes? And then they were like, let's make mango chutney. <laughs> and I think that's where it comes from. What do yeah. you think? What do you think? I because mean, like, that's- Because this version of mango ch chutney I've not had in India, it's such a British thing. Like mm. all the curry houses have it as or, well. Or was it invented by the Bangladeshis when they came over and set up the curry houses? Because yeah. I think, Maybe or, you know, maybe it was just a way to preserve mangoes because, like, for the they, British when yeah, they came like, over at that time, they couldn't transport I, them. Like, but that's what yeah. I'm thinking. Like, they just came here and they were like, "There's so many mangoes in India," and because pr traditionally British people make a lot of chutney yeah. in the olden days, they did a lot more. They were like, "Let's make mango chutney out of this." I don't know. We should look. But into uh, it. what do you think of it? Do you like mango chutney? I do. I prefer my mum's mango. Oh, mango. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Um, okay. This is compostable. Nice. Yeah, I was quite disappointed to see a plastic bag, yeah. but then I realized it is compostable. Okay, well, that's, so that's good. Great. Yeah. That's good. And it comes, so it's cloth wrapped, and I take it the, the traditional tiffin metal tins. I just lo I love the way it's wrapped. Yeah. I think that's so cool. Woo! Ah, nice. They send um, oh, a little ice pack, ice pack to keep it cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay. So, so it's all chilled, so basically you have to heat it up at your own convenience. I can't remember what was inside, did you see? <laughs> so I think this is... We have some tiki. Mmm. With chana. Oh, yeah. One of the dishes was like a tofu... Makani or something? It's probably that. Yeah, then. okay. Yeah. This is and a dal, obviously. And we have dal. Okay, no, that smells good. Yeah. That smells very nice. And we have rice. rice. It's the healthy looking type of rice. Yeah. It is. It's the Kerala, uh, oh. like unpolished rice, I think. Nice. With the husk and everything. Yum. Okay, okay. perfect. Let's heat it up. Um, we preheated the oven now. <laughs> <laughs> you like on a cooking channel now. <laughs> At 180 degrees, what was it? <laughs> what temperature? It's 180. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I have to point out, we have these fantastic Tamil bowls, which we're going to eat the food out of. Although this is a, a Delhi uh, menu, or supposed Delhi-inspired uh, tiffin, uh, we're going we're gonna to eat it on Tamil plates. So, samosas. Yeah, really excited. They look yeah. uh, very crispy and they've actually browned up, you know, in the oven. Quite nicely. Has, yeah. But as you said, the pastry isn't really the kind of pastry that you get in India because it's usually a lot thicker yeah, pastry, and, right? Yeah, and the shape is also, you know, um, it's more like a pyramid. Mm, not, a tri not like a triangle, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. flat triangle. Yeah. Just a disclaimer. We did actually have a samosa before we ate this one. What do you think? I think that 
The first one I had was more spicy than this one. Have you got that? It is a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was warmer than the previous one. No, there's definitely less spice in this one. I really like the chutney, to be honest. It reminds me of my mum's Emily chutney, so... Reminds you of your mum's homemade chutney. That's, yeah. that's quite a compliment, guys. Yeah, and that's really hard because it's the perfect balance of sweet and sour mm. and spicy. Mm. Often it's very sweet. They yeah. overcompensate. So that's really true. Like it has a nice spice level to that. Mm. To the, the tamarind chutney is really good. So overall, the samosa, my first impression was this is a really lovely spice level. I was expecting it to be a bit milder and I was happy that it fa it tasted more. Yeah, like you, you expect samosas usually to be quite spicy, right? Mm. So I think it had a good, I think it tasted really good. Yeah, it had a good flavor mm. and um, it just felt, it had a homemade quality to it. True, yeah. true, 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 definitely. And actually, to be honest with you, I actually don't mind the, because I'm used to having been brought up in the UK with that kind of samosa. That's your, that's how you connect to a samosa. Like for you, it is. And I remember when I first went to India and had like the, you know, really thick <laughs> pyramid samosas, I was a bit like, oh, well, this is different <laughs> to what I'm used to having. Yeah. I guess it's, you know, when you're growing up, it's your like, uh, association to something. So mm. my association with the samosa is always like the thick pastry, yeah. the pyramid yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for anyone who's grown up in the UK, it's this. Yeah, true. And true. I think it's a good the, fusion of both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the filling is, you know, not bland. Like yeah, it usually is. Like if that was like the kind of samosa that you'd get as a takeaway at Marks and Spencer or from some kind of like I don't know, like, you know when you get those kind of like Indian takeaway sets in the supermarket and you take it home and heat it up, the samosa would not be that spicy. No. It would be very, very mild. So I think that was really good and I am really impressed with that chutney. It would be great to try, try the mango chutney and the ginger jam. That's something yeah, new, yeah. right? That's this something is really unique. Okay. I'm tempted to just... Ooh, that smells really good. It does. That smells like a I'm smell that I've smelled in India. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's, <laughs> what is that? Is it, the, is it just the ginger that I'm smelling? It's the ginger and it's got some tempering. Mm. Mustard seeds, I think. That smells delightful. I feel like this might have hing. Oh. Um, yeah. Asapatadam. I like that. That's, su that's, does, yeah. That surprised me. Oh, it is quite spicy. If you put a lot in your mouth. Yeah. I like that. Good job. Double drop with your with your little condiments. Condiments theme. are pretty yeah. cool. Now I want to try this one. Should Let's we try this? We <laughs> <laughs> I love pickled onion as well, by the way. It's such a like Indian restaurant staple, actually. Yeah. Is it good? Is it like British mango chicken? <laughs> I it? think it's slightly like better it's fresher so it it tastes like it's been made fresh it's not like um like from scratch it's not some mm. sort of it's not from a bottle oh you got in on the pickled onion mm. this is not that nice oh <laughs> <laughs> burn why is it just literally i think it's like um like it smells a, it's a bit stale oh like it's like not it's gone, gone bad. Off. It does it's, taste like it's gone off though. No, it's... With pickled onion, you really need to make it quite often, I think. Like, because mm. my family runs mm. restaurants as well, right? So, if you leave it too long, especially when it's chopped. Maybe this one's fresher. No. Usually... It smells um, sour or something. Usually you put like whole baby onions because it's chopped, like chopped onions will get smelly. Do you know what though? It tastes better than it smells. <laughs> oh, I can't even see what we're doing. So that's all I just mentioned. She just noticed it's actually with kale, which is not something that you would really get in a dish in India, I don't think, is it? Which is weird no. because you could probably grow it quite easily over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely grows in India, but it's not 
it's not, you know, a traditional. To be fair, yeah. it's never. It's only kale's only really become trendy. I think in the UK, maybe in the last five years. I think. Yeah, yeah. So. But my mum grows kale, ah. and uh, she uses it in Indian recipes. Okay. So I think it, it works well. Okay. This is a very mild mm. aloo tikki. But um, but what I like about it is again, it's not like um, it's got a very homey vibe yeah. to it. Like the flavors are nice. That's true, actually, and it does taste really fresh. Mm. You're right. There is a really homey vibe about that. It tastes like a really delicious home cooked mm. um, British roast potato <laughs> stuffed with some no very small amount of masalas. No, I just no. keep. I know I keep going back to my mum because <laughs> she is basically you know the first person that comes to mind whenever mm. I think about Indian food yeah. but it's the kind of thing which she would pack in my school tiffin oh. so yeah it's really hitting the oh, really? emotional spot. oh <laughs> don't cry now <laughs> this is making you emotional what about the kale hmm it tastes healthy as well it doesn't feel greasy mm. they've not they obviously don't use ghee or anything like that because it's plant-based so nothing feels like it's kind of really overly fried or yeah. do you know what i mean I like this know, is it's not it's like, not fried at all it's really very lightly fried or maybe roasted in the oven because it's um it tastes it's roasted. really well cooked but not greasy the like chana is the chana is crispy mm. is that normal usually it's with a gravy mm. I've never seen it on its own like yeah. that. But I again, it works. I think it's um yeah it does. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I think personal preference I would have probably preferred it to be a bit more spicy. Spicy. But I liked it because it was it ta it was home cooked vibe and it was tasty. Mm. Same here. I think like um it's probably not what you would get at um, like a chatwala in India mm. or a restaurant. Mm. But it is what you would get at home and I think that makes it quite unique. Because not everyone does home cooking with lots of spice anyway. Exactly, so yeah. it is very homemade and yeah, it does taste yeah. like something. And, and it is flavorful. Mm. It's, mm. Yeah. True, 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 true. Oh! <laughs> at least it was the rice and not like anything yeah. else. What do you want to try next? The dal or do you want to try the tofu? I'm going to try like both, both combined like with the rice. Go for it. Yeah. If if you want you can get up this time and I'll just sit. <laughs> you know, have the it twice. The dal is nice. Yeah, the dal is nice. I agree. Even the tofu is nice. I prefer the dal. Same. The dal is actually really good because it feels very homely. Exactly. I think that's the and it's sort of unique yeah thing that about this, this is the yeah. most unique thing about this is the fact that everything tastes like it wasn't batch cooked and it feels like it was do you know what i mean it was especially cooked just this little amount yeah. just for us and some auntie in a kitchen has made it for us and yeah. perhaps with the preference that we wouldn't want it to be too greasy too greasy or too spicy too spi not yeah. spicy healthy and not greasy yeah so I think this is really good. Hmm. I wasn't expecting it to have that home cooked vibe. I was expecting it to be more restaurant style where it would, would be feel greasy, a little bit greasy, yeah. and a little bit like indulgent and like, you know, make you feel good. But at the same time, it wouldn't, you know, when you eat a lot of takeout food on a regular basis or you eat out all the time and you're so sick of it and you just want home cooked yeah. food. That's why this is really nice. Exactly. Because it's like you, it's like either you cooked it yourself with all that knowledge of Indian cooking, or some auntie did it for you. Yeah, I think so. this really fills that gap for when you don't want to make like a really clean, healthy meal yourself at yeah. home, um, and yet you want you know that flavor and the kind of cooking which is mindful. Mm. It tastes like that. This is my first time having vegan Indian food ever, I think. And I think it's shocked me and surprised me because it doesn't have that, you know, 
greasy butter filled like mm. do you know what i mean which is really nice once in a while but <clears throat> i mean yeah i could see myself eating this mm. a couple of times a month i think shankar would like this yeah he would really like i think this. he would yeah. love it it's actually really lovely it, it feels like it's been cooked with love yeah <laughs> <laughs> i try the naan i have a feeling this isn't gonna be quite as good yeah it doesn't look it looks very dry you know also the fact that they've um given like red rice instead of like normal white rice mm. so it, it is healthier than ordering your average takeaway and, but i turned my nose up to that because i normally don't like anything that's not white rice but mm. i feel like this is a great compromise because it's not like the full on you know like the full on it's not brown. cauliflower rice right? yeah and it's oh well, yeah and it's not like super brown yeah, yeah yeah like whole whole wheat what is it wholemeal rice or yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. this is like a really lovely uh this is the traditional rice which is um consumed in like kerala in I kerala think. Yeah. okay i think if i was to order this again i wouldn't order the pickled onion <laughs> I probably wouldn't order the naan. I would definitely order the what is this? Ginger jam. Would I order the, have I tried this yet? I don't know if I have. This is actually really nice. Yeah. This is been made with fresh pineapples. Isn't it mango? Oh. <laughs> has a sourness to it as well how have they done that or is it just the mustard seeds they put in have they just put a squeeze i think they put a squeeze of lemon in that as well it tastes it's tangy it tastes tangy that's why i said pineapple i'm just trying to give excuses for myself <laughs> i just had the ginger pickle jam thingy with the rice and like everything mixed up how you would do yeah. at home and it's really good okay i'm gonna do that too how's the naan it ta it tastes like it's been homemade mm. but i think like you said it doesn't help the fact that it probably came out the oven very light and fluffy and because it's been rolled up and yeah. squished in, into position it's kind of lost that um texture mm. do you know what i mean or do you think it's bad I wouldn't do naan. I know naan is really popular in the UK. Mm. There's not very really much of a but thing. But like a roti would have travelled better in That's my mind. That's true. And you know you can just heat it up on a pan rather than in the oven, like a flat. But like, would they have the faff of having to puff them up? Because <laughs> that's no. So you can it. It's puffed up when it's hot, but mm. is it not necessary home, for the taste? It's not necessary for oh, the really? taste and. At like even at home when a roti is packed, you'll mm. obviously like mm, flatten it. Yeah. Flatten it, yeah. Mm. It could be a simple roti or it could be like a plain paratha, and I think that would probably. I think paratha would have been a lot better. I was I yeah. would expect with this not to have a naan, but with a have yeah. a paratha because I noticed when I went to India that naan bread isn't really necessary as popular as it is here like people have mm. naan with an indian takeaway but i don't think i don't actually think i've ever had naan in india to be the honest the thing is because naan in india is like a restaurant it's what you eat at a restaurant right. nobody makes naan it's not home. a home okay because it needs a tandoor like it needs a clear right oven. right do you think so, they've made that in a tandoor I don't think they have. I don't know. It might just be in an oven, but I don't know if it's a tandoor. But um, but essentially, I think like, yeah, roti or paratha. Because the food is so homey mm. as well. Yeah, like, I agree. For me, the naan just feels like unnecessary because mm. I love the rest of it. Mm, me too. I agree. I would have loved a roti with this. <clears throat> and they can also experiment with different types yeah. of roti as well. Do you want half? Yeah. Yeah, I think they could. They could make like stuffed parathas and this food actually they, make If they nasty. do stuffed parathas, I would definitely order. Mm -hmm. This is probably the healthiest Indian food I've ever yeah. eaten in my life. <laughs> I feel, I'm not going to I'm just going to feel really clean after this and like, oh. 
Is there any vegan Indian restaurant in London? I don't, um, is there? I don't, I don't know if there know is. I don't know if there's like a fully vegan one, but I, I don't think, think there is. There are restaurants which offer like vegan. Yeah, but I don't think there's like a fully vegan hmm. one. I was quite surprised actually when I found out this was plant based. I like it. I'm. The more I eat, the more I'm kind of sold on it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dicky's so good. Mm. There's also like no lumps in it. It's really fluffy, you know? You don't get any like unwanted hard pieces of t potato in there. It's super yeah. fluffy. Mmm. 